Grogu's and Grogras, put away your tribal crystals and stop bullseyeing Grogras and please welcome the state, Wada! Happy Life Day to all. <laughs> Happy Life Day. I want to remind everyone that uh, uh, this is, this is uh, that time of year, that perhaps indefinite annual time of year where we once again become afraid of the air anytime we are indoors. <laughs> and I remind you that caveat as uh, an establishment strongly encourages to wear your mask unless you are at that moment eating or drinking. And I want to make it very clear that that is the reason Watto is wearing a mask over his nose only tonight. That is the reason no nose was left at home. <laughs> Underneath here, perfect nose. Perfect art, you can, you can see it, can't you? Nothing hidden, everything normal. This is the face of consideration. <laughs> happy life day, happy life day, hey, happy life day. Happy life day, how's it going, how's it going, have a happy life day. And it is, it has been a life we've been all living here. Who here has ever been to a George Lucas talk show life day show before? Okay. Because it's been now, the last one was 2019. Didn't do one 2020. Last year got canceled pretty last minute. <laughs> Things were shaky. Uh, who here has uh, never been to any type of George Lucas talk show before? Okay. And I want to split that atom even further. <laughs> of that group of people, who has next to slash no frame of reference for what's about to happen tonight? Yeah. The guy, the, the out loud, yeah, was that you? Yeah. Anti-social social club? Bit of a walking contradiction, aren't you? What do you think? This, and there are no long answers. This is a very safe, welcoming community. But what do you think this is? I think you're going to come out and you guys are going to have a very long conversation. Exactly. <laughs> People do these write-ups and they go, oh, it's so hard to explain. It's hard to recommend to friends. What is the entry point? We always say thin premise. Thin, razor thin the real George Lucas will come out and talk to some friends. Done! There might have been a couple mishaps in the road to getting to the friends that we will talk to tonight, but we will hash that out all on stage. Uh, I think you folks feel warmed up, right? You feel warmed up? Yeah. I don't want to waste any more time. I think let's start the fucking show.
creator of Star Wars. I'm uh, what of the flying space Jew. I want to be clear, we have had no confirmation that Star Wars Detours will be premiering <laughs> on Disney Plus on Christmas we Day. We should even clarify further, there have been no discussions. Yeah. Not only no confirmation, there has been no dialogue whatsoever. For those of you who don't know what Star Wars Detours is, it was the last Star Wars project that I worked on. We produced 39 fully animated episodes of comedy Star Wars. Finished. Finished. Locked. They're in the Disney vault. Uh, they could release the series with a push of a button. Instead, all 39 on a shelf. That's right. But. And for those of you who don't know what the Christmas wish is, yeah. if you don't understand the abstract concept, the Christmas wish is sometimes you ask a friend to write a song, yeah. verbalizing the thing you hope will happen on Christmas Day. And then you make that wish. And play then it when you enter a theater yeah, and let the audience think you're announcing something. Yes, <laughs> but what I was doing was amplifying the wish. We now, have to we've, amplify now we've it. all wished it. Yes. I'm hoping, because they still have a week. Yes. Basically, they, yes. Could, they could put it out this weekend. Be very easy. They They're could put it out at 11.59 p.m. on Christmas Day, yeah. and it would still count. It, the decision would take 30 seconds. Oh, and it would be so funny to watch all the episodes. <laughs> It'd be the funniest thing to do. Yeah. George! Yes. How are you doing? Happy Life Day. Happy How are you Life doing? Day to you. I'm doing all right. Uh, people might notice the stage feels a little bare. That's right. We Usually. Yeah, normally we fill the stage with guests and laughter. And laughter. <laughs> and, and I wouldn't say fill, but, uh, you know, filling the stage in the way that a seat filler fills the audience. We usually have a producer, Patrick Kotner. That's right. Who... Uh, uh, but uh, I, I would say... Uh, let's go ahead and bring Patrick on. Okay. Uh, everyone, uh, uh, silence, please, for producer. Silence. <laughs> silence, please. I'm silence, here. please. I'm pa here. I heard the cheer. Uh, Patrick, it, uh, it was all only a comedy joke saying silence, please. We knew people would cheer for you. Okay. Well, thank you so much for clearing it's that nice up. To see I appreciate you. it. You, now we should clarify you're not wearing a MAGA hat. That is a Life Day hat. Nope. Yes. It is a Life Day hat. I also uh, want to be clear, I did spend. $40 on a Life Day t-shirt, and then realized, oh no, oh no, this covers the front of me, so you won't see it anyway. Well, wait, what are you wearing? What shirt are you wearing under the Life Day robe? I'm wearing a Bring the Noise Happy Life Day shirt. But, you, yeah, okay, that's good. I'm you, also covering that. You could but... wear both shirts under the robe. Yeah. Let's see it. That would be funny bit escalation. Yeah. By the way, Patrick, while you're changing, yeah. I, I owe yeah. you a, a bel belated congratulations. Oh, thank you so much, Wado. On what? On apparently being elected the king of bookshelves? <laughs> That's me, baby. Yeah, if, <clears throat> if any of you uh, wander into a Best Buy over the next few weeks and you wonder where did all the Blu-rays and DVDs go, <laughs> Patrick has them. 
they're listen, these were all in the other place. They just weren't uh, directly on camera. Show us, show us. Sir, I'm sorry. These shelves were not in the, the other The shelves place. were not. Yeah, the the shelves. shelves were not, but the contents of the shelves were. Yes. Uh, show us your lawn if it's so great out there. Can we see your lawn? No, it's Everyone dark talks out. about, well, everyone says this space, the LA, you finally have some space. You can kick out. You're not packed in like sardines. Do you hear this about LA? This space. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you, you can just breathe this space uh, in LA. I have. Look, I got a patio. I do not a patio. Be clear. We've I all got patio. patios. We've we all, all, all patios. the New Yorkers have patios now. I've yet to meet a New Yorker who doesn't have a patio. I can't show you the outside because I specifically cleaned this area of the apartment. Unbelievable. All right. Well, if if we get to a point in the show where we want to see your dirty apartment, will you move the camera a little? Yeah, I guess. I'm sure. saying if, 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 if we get to the yeah, point of the show if, where we if need we that. Get, if we get to that point, if we get to that point, I'm happy to now, do Patrick, that. Now, Patrick, I have some bad news for you, which is uh, I, I'm about to give a Life Day gift, and I would have given it to you as well, but you're not here, so you don't, you don't get a Life Day gift. We're not going to give you an NFT. These gifts are for in-person only. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm going I'm to make you watch me give this wonderful gift of friendship to yeah. Wada. That's all right. All right. I, I like that kind I of thing. I hope you like it. I didn't realize yeah. he's also here on a little now, Wado, I know, yeah. I know what you like. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna wind it too much. Okay. It's a music box. Okay. And let's go ahead and play the video so people can see it. It's it's Mickey and Goofy, a music box uh, plays Rudolph from 1981. As you can see, uh, it's Goofy and Mickey. They're just friends, and they're standing in a wreath <laughs> together. And because uh, they're good friends. And so Goofy bought a big wreath, and he said to Mickey, oh, well, hey, Mickey, why don't you stand in the wreath with me for Christmas? And Mickey was like, oh, okay. And they got into the wreath together, and that's the music box that uh, was produced in 1981. Uh, so happy Life Day. I, I do find it telling that the height disparity between Goofy and Mickey is so great that even with them both tucked into a wreath, Goofy had to sit down on a present box <laughs> so that, let's just say, their pelvises were alive. Anyway, uh, Life, Day, Life Day is all about friendship. Life and Day is all about friendship. These two are good friends. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> good friends, very good friends, close friends. Now, Patrick, you have at times been called a friend. Mm. You have at many Not other... often, but yeah. And at times. <laughs> Patrick Life Day is the day for giving, not receiving. Yeah. But it doesn't mean you should give me some sass, okay? <laughs> Patrick, the point is sometimes you've been yeah. considered a friend, many times you've been considered the producer of this show. <laughs> now, you, you often book the guests. Maybe chief among your responsibilities. Yeah. We had two book guests. One guest mm -hmm. got the novel coronavirus. Mm -hmm. We hate to see it, folks. You hate to see it. It's happening more and more every day. This, you hate to see it. The second guest got the, the true, the true pandemic that has our culture in the, its grips right now. The true virus, scheduling conflicts. <laughs> we had another guest maybe lined up to go. They got the novel coronavirus. Yeah, yeah. So Friday, Friday about 5 p.m., suddenly everything was bad. Oh, you should see our DMs Falling apart. back and forth. And for those who don't know, Friday, 5 p.m., a, it's like the weekend. It's the freaking weekend, baby. Yeah. <laughs> so Everyone's working mm -hmm. for it. Right, and now, mm -hmm. and now they've stopped working because they've gotten to it. Yeah. So people aren't, we can't go through reps. Usually the domain of Patrick Kotner. He goes through the reps. The reps. I, lo I love reps. I love reps, he famously. He gets reps through the reps. And we know it's Friday. Reps usually wouldn't be back into office until Monday. But now it's the holidays. Most of them are off for the rest of the year. So we're going through our role. Who do we have? Who do we have? Immediate New York 
first name Nobody. basis, you no. know? Nobody. Direct no one really. Nobody Patrick, really. Patrick, who have you got Everybody for us? You get us anybody? Patrick, this is the wind-up for you to reveal to us the guest that who, who'd you, you get? Who'd you get? Yourself. Who'd We're you get, waiting Patrick? here. Oh, we set up a chair, work. Patrick. We can't wait. We can't Patrick, wait to find out. We can't wait. We set wait. up a chair. This is in the bit. This is in the bit. Oh, it's such a we great surprise. We can't wait to find out who you booked. That Patrick is playing coy. here's the thing. Patrick moved to L.A. He said, it won't change anything. It won't change a thing. I'll fly back. The he first said, thing he said was, I'll fly back. I'll, he said, I'll fly back for every show. Right. We booked a show. He said, I can't fly back. <laughs> then we said, book us a guest. He says, I can't book guests. I so can't we can't guests. wait. We cannot we wait, Patrick, wait. to find out who's going to sit in the chair. We put a chair out, Patrick. We put it there. And I'm impressed. I'm actually impressed because usually Patrick is so mm -hmm. eager to share his accomplishments. The fact that he has not spoiled it for us yet oh, tells me it must be a must great be a guess. Big surprise. He's been sitting on oh, it. So he hasn't fine. even been responding to oh, our text for two days. Look at him, chewing on his fingers. The telltale sign that he has his good news thing. for the George Lucas the talk show. Classic good news, too. Look, I tried. Oh! I oh. Wow. Oh, well, I guess the audience, you are the guests for this show. And what and and what 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 a cop out that is. Now, now no. Patrick, I don't know if you know this. Yeah. Do you know this? We're I don't not, know. What is it? Look, we're not hiring a new producer. We're not hiring a new producer. We do need someone on the ground helping us here in person. Eyes and ears. We need sure, someone just sure. Boots, I understand that. Boots on the ground. Boots on, we need boots on the ground. Yeah. We got your eyes and ears. We don't yeah, got yeah, your yeah. boots. We need. Patrick, we need your boots on the ground. We need your boots squeaky, on the ground. Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. We need your boots on the ground, squeaky, squeaky. Patrick. Think of it this yeah. way. Donald can be the eyes and ears, but you need a Mickey to get in the wreath with you. <laughs> Bad analogy now I'm realizing as we're about to bring out a friend who is helping us very generously. Uh, I, an old friend of George Lucas talk show, our friend uh, Ramona, is helping us out here tonight. Mm -hmm. Ramona, Ramona. Ramona, come out for a second. Mm -hmm. Thank Welcome. you very much <laughs> for helping out. And, and, and uh, look. And Ramona, I fully enjoy the chair because it's a, it's a chair for guests, and you're now a guest. Back, relax. And, well, yeah. Happy, happy life day. Thank you. Happy life day. Uh, thank you so much for helping out. I, I know, you know, this is. You had no aspirations of becoming the producer of the George Lucas talk show. None whatsoever. You're not and you're still not. Steal. And you're still Patrick. not, Ramona. Let's pull him off. Pull him off the screen for a second. <laughs> no, don't pull me off. Goodbye, Patrick. <laughs> hey, now, you've been helpful. You got me some empanadas. You helped George and I put on our life day robes. All That's this has true, been helpful. Yeah. We don't want to ask too much of you. What, what, how, what can I do? But it just feels like there's can, no, there's can, no can harm you, in, Can you wrestle up a guest? There's no harm in asking. <laughs> Can you wrestle up a guest? Like, do you have friends? Do you have people you can reach out to? I can see what I can do. See what you can do. See That's all we can do. ask for, right? That's all we can That's ask That's what we ask for for Patrick. All right, so we'll see. It's a great bit. Let's see what we can do. It's a great bit. Ramona, yeah. you have like an hour and change if there's anyone you can get. Yes. See, this is a great, could be a new bit on the show. You come back every month. It'd be uh, great. This is a great bit. Scrounging up guests. Because Patrick, so often we ask him to do something and he's afraid Patrick. to ask. He's afraid. He's afraid. All we want to do is ask. Patrick. Yeah. All right. Patrick. Patrick, yeah. see yeah. how easy Why? that was? What? I see, I see. No I know, back. I know. I'm sorry. No, I don't want to send the link. I don't want to burn the ask kind of thing, you know? Yeah. But here's yeah. the thing. We can talk. The thing is, I, I don't want people to be nervous because we've never had a bad show. Yeah. We, can do a, we can do a good show regardless. Every, we sort this out without any guests booked, announced. Every, it's going to be fine. But I just like Ramona's attitude. You know what I'm saying, Patrick? Yeah. It's the life day attitude. I, and I don't think she's going to produce a guest for us, especially it's under these circumstances. Oh, nice. what is she, Ramona, why are you on? Oh, OK. Wait, what did she say? Uh, Grogu's and Grabbers, uh, please welcome to the stage Rachel Zegler. <laughs> Happy Life Day. I gotta say, I gotta say, I think I might be the only person 
anyone out there who's famous for a TV show that they're not on, that they can walk onto a stage to the Ted Lasso theme song having no connection professionally to Ted Lasso, but there's a whole group of people in this room that are like, yep, that's Rachel from Ted Lasso. Well, Ted Lasso. Ted Lasso, baby. A website story. Hi, Patrick. Uh, hi, Patrick. Hi, Rachel. How are you? I'm good, my friend. I'm good. Uh, how has your life been so far, Rachel? I lived a lot of life today, and I think that's the point. So yeah. I, you know, I have my orb. I'm feeling really blessed. Yeah. You know, Ramona <laughs> came and got me. She actually just, I like, I think she said my name three times in the mirror. I just showed up. I was watching like an episode of Ted Lasso at home, and then all of a sudden I was here. Now, so. do you find the Ted Lasso character inspiring? Believe. Believe. He hangs up that sign. There's a mustache involved, right. and I'm inspired to grow out mine. So. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Now, uh, you are a, you are a regular guest on the live stream, but we've never met before. We've in, never in met real before life. in person. <laughs> I can't believe I'm meeting George Lucas today, guys. But That's crazy. You hang. You've been around my buddy Steve a lot. I have been around your buddy Steve. It was it's his birthday, birthday yesterday. yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Happy yeah, birthday. Was. Happy birthday, Happy buddy birthday. Steve. Did you see, did you see Fablemans? I have I haven't seen it yet. Oh, Isn't that crazy? Oh, yeah. Oh, I've heard what really wonderful things. It's good. Things. It's like good. It. What, a, what a picture. What a, yeah. What a picture. What a picture. What a they picture. don't make <laughs> them like that anymore. No. They don't make them like that. But Steve does. Steve buddy does. Steve yeah, makes buddy them like Steve that. Yeah, buddy Steve I can think of one guy who makes them like that more. Yeah. Steve. Steve. Yeah. But I want to say I really loved West Side Story. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. I really loved it too, but I'm biased, so I can't say that. But thank and, you. And and I uh, I like I like when people take things and then redo them in a. This really is like a special edition. Yeah. Yeah. Like the ultimate, just like strip away everything that was filmed for the rough cut. Right. The ver original version that came out, and then just like let's start from scratch. Yeah. And really make it special. You could just consider it the director's cut, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, that's right. New, yeah. new director, new cut. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which is the, the actually like the there was a it was actually called West Side Story, new director, new cut, but the working title <laughs> didn't make it to the end. So. Right, because that's too many for a, that's too many for a marquee. Right. Yeah. It's kind of like too fast, too furious. New director, new cut. Yeah. 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 I guess I, this wasn't an official title. It was just I guess like a home video promotional thing. Well, ev everyone wa decided to watch it from home, well, so yeah. Right, well, <laughs> I mean, we can look. We can get into this. My my Blu-ray edition, it, it didn't say the new director, new cut. It oh. said West Side Story, unrated and out of control. Edition. Oh yeah. <laughs> now, so so you, you got my f bomb. Okay. That's what <laughs> I was saying. Yeah. Right. Because sometimes you I, you shoot some extra stuff on set. You go, this is never gonna make it into the movie. Well, the explicit we the explicit version the of I feel pretty didn't make it into the final. I feel right. so fucking pretty. I yeah. know. I yeah. feel fucking pretty. I feel yeah. fucking pretty. God. Yeah. It was. I have to say it was. Crup and raunchy. It was crup and raunchy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, George. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I got you a life day present. No, you didn't. Okay. Yeah, yeah. didn't. Oh, yeah. no. Why? <laughs> George, you, how did you get her a life day present? You didn't know she was coming. Because I always have, I'm a billionaire. I have presents <laughs> ready for everyone I know. <laughs> Anybody else shows up, I probably got a present for it's them. It's like yeah. leaving a chair open for Isaiah. <laughs> you know, you get the for present for the guest you want. Should I open it now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's uh, Everyone's going to get gifts. I, I, everyone. Now, I know you think that looks like a teapot, but turn it upside down. That's a Watto. <laughs> he, got, my friend, he, again. he got Watto. Your nose is looking a little different today, bud. No, nope, exactly the same. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Identical. It's like you're holding up a mirror, and I'm like, that's. Yeah. Where, who am I talking to? Yeah, so it, it was a, a lidless uh, tea cup, <laughs> mm, teapot. You right. don't say. It was. Right. You <laughs> could put things in it. You could use it as a flower pot. Or and like I, an upside and I down will. water flower pot. But if you turn it upside down, it becomes a work of art. It becomes a work. And you could set it down like that. It'll, it'll, I think, think it'll sit. Yeah, I think it will. Okay. I believe it will, to quote Ted Lasso. Mm, look at that. Look at People that. were astonished well like you did a magic trick. I know. I kind of feel like... A you got actual awes and gasps from the... <laughs> yeah, that's power. And Patrick, take note. Sometimes it's that easy. All you have to do is try. <laughs> Patrick, do you have a question for Rachel? You could really learn. Uh, you could afford to learn some things from her tonight. So <laughs> ask away. Yeah. 
Now, Rachel, yes. um, I didn't have any questions, but I'm going to try to make one up on the spot. I feel so you, important. You've just shot so many things. It's There's so true. many things in the can. So many. What do we got? We got three movies we got in the three can? three movies. Well, Sh so Shazam was originally supposed to come out two days ago, and it didn't. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's Spielberg birthday yeah, Eve. It may be, Not yeah. a good day, because yeah, yeah, yeah. everyone's partying, preparing right. for their Everyone Spielberg is doing the pregame for the for yeah. the Steven Spielberg birthday yes. party. Also because Jim Cameron bought out all the IMAX theaters, so right. we, there, we would have <laughs> lost all of the money. Yes. Um, and I don't know if you know this, but th we don't have money to lose over there right now. <laughs> I, I didn't know that. I never... Can I you, tell you something? You can't read? I don't worry about... No, I, <laughs> I, I rarely do read anymore. Uh, <laughs> you choose not but to. But I've read a lot. Right. I read Joseph Campbell. <laughs> Well, he boy, read that did once, you. and he's just been living off it for like 50 years. <laughs> I read, uh, I read uh, Heart of Darkness by Joseph Conrad. Nice. And that's how I thought of Apocalypse Now, which, that's I, how you which thought my of mentor it. Francis stole from me. Yeah. And uh, 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 Carl Barks the Duck Comics. I read, yeah, I read the comics of uh, Carl Barks. The Duck Comics. I read a lot. I've read a lot. Okay. And now I, I've forgotten what I was going to say to you. I look. I never presume. <laughs> I never presume that others watch the George Lucas talk show, right? It's not a thing to presume. Right. Right? But People shouldn't. I, I assume it about everyone. <laughs> but, but with things in the news recently, part of me has thought that maybe David Zasloff heard us talk about Star Wars detours and said, hold my fucking beer. <laughs> yeah. You want to see how much shit I can put on the shelf? You want to see what's going to not come out? You want to see it? I'll, yeah. I'll yeah. unmake things. I yeah. would be, you know, when you say you have movies in the can, yes. like, it's genuinely terrifying now because David Zaslav <laughs> treats the entire library like it's a toilet. I, 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 <laughs> I was going to say, say like they're tin cans and he's a billy goat. No, no. He doesn't That's even eat. Right. He, yeah, what? What are you saying? Swipe right? <laughs> no, I mean, You're cutting uh, this I, into your dating pool, Patrick. <laughs> this is a show. What are you trying to say, Patrick? I, oh, I was trying to move on from the Zaslav talk. I never got <laughs> to finish my question, though. Oh, oh true. Shazam in the can. Shazam coming out to March. March sep <laughs> oh, shit. March. <laughs> coming out in, in March for sure. Thank yes. you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Cam. Um, I saw the trailer then, uh, before Avatar. You get the Avatar bump. Yes, we do. Yes. So we, we ended up turning that into a, a net positive yes. instead of what would absolutely mm -hmm. have been a negative. Um, and then, yeah, I shot uh, Hunger I Games. Hunger Games comes out in uh, in November of next year. A prequel. A prequel. A prequel. A prequel. I love you it. love prequel. I love it. What happened, prequel. what happened before? What What happened before? I guess Are you you're Baby Katniss? To... Do you play Baby Katniss? Uh, no. No? No. No, but you know. <laughs> I, I hope we see Baby Katniss. I do too. <laughs> I hope it ends. It takes place 65 years before. The Hunger Babies. They, they, there you go. We don't know. We don't know how they age in that we universe. Yeah, That's right. it's true. How but do the we aging age begin? Yeah. Here's, yeah. what, here's what I wanted. I want the final scene to be a little girl sitting in her bedroom, and her mom comes in and goes, "Is everything okay?" <laughs> and the girl goes, "Yes. I'm just thinking. Someday I will name my granddaughter Katniss." <laughs> And that I way, the timeline works out. I guess you're going to have to watch mm -hmm. to find we'll out. <laughs> That's and then, and Rachel, then Rachel, what's Snow the, White comes what's out the like Snow White! Ten years. What? Snow White! Snow White. Snow White. Snow White. Woo! Disney princess, Patrick. Royalty. Thank you. I know. Sorry, Patrick, what was your question? What's, what's the smallest Hunger Games spoiler you can give without getting in trouble? Uh, the word Katniss is in it. What? Wow! Wow! I just got fired, guys. I gotta... No, read the book! The book's out there. I can't possibly spoil it for you. It's all written out. The wow. script is basically out there for, wow. for you right. to consume. I remember um, what I was going to say before. You mentioned money as if it was something <laughs> to worry about, and no, I was going to tell you I don't ever worry about money. Oh. No, I mentioned illiteracy, and then you, you were going to talk about money. Yeah. Okay, yeah. We sure. talked about it both now. We've covered it. It's great. Yeah, it's fantastic. We don't worry about money. Snow White. Snow White. Seven Snow White. and seven friends. Of seven, seven new friends. Minors, yeah. yeah. Not o not children. ER. They work in a diamond right. mine. ER. They dig, 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 the dig, 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 dig the whole Disney day through. When Disney pitched that to me, I was like, in we a need mine to clarify. Where a thousand diamonds, diamonds shine. shine. Yeah. <laughs> but they're working adult hours the because twist, they are. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Patrick, what? 
Pat, no, <laughs> would be a I can't one. wait to hear. I cannot wait to hear. Oh, what, wait, Pat, I hope it's worth it. I can't wait to hear. It's not. Uh... I was going to say it would be a fun twist if in this one they changed the dwarves to be also children, minors, but that's okay. Don't worry about it. That's fine. A fun twist. Don't worry they about it. They were children who worked in a diamond mine. <laughs> so now, you think blood yeah. diamonds is the way to really modernize that uh, story? Yeah. We have we always pick, felt we, that we nothing makes Patrick laugh harder than then they knock at the door from the Grim Reaper himself. <laughs> Death, the ultimate joke to Patrick Cotner, but apparently there's something he finds funnier. Blood, diamonds, mine through the work of child labor. For now, Patrick, this is, this is the equivalent of a weekend at the Catskills. Now, I'm, I'm remembering an interaction, and I, I genuinely, genuinely don't remember whether I sent you this mm. or not. Okay. When it was announced that you were going to be Snow White. Okay. Oh, okay. I might have. Or maybe I just thought about it and also, then I, thought... Also, I basically was like, I blacked out after the news came out because people were so <laughs> horrendously mean. So I, I, like, I think I sent you... I think I down. sent you a link. <laughs> wait a second, wait a second. Online? People were... <laughs> On Twitter! About Wado. a movie being produced by the Walt <laughs> Disney Company? Any tendril of which people it tend to be. shocked me too, my friend. Very normal. Very, normal. very normal. Very normal. <laughs> and, and to a woman, no less. <laughs> Surprising. <laughs> Astonishing. Did, what did you I believe you? I sent you a link to a deleted scene from the original animated version, a song about the, the sound that you make. Oh when you eat soup. It's called The, mu the Music <laughs> in Your Soup. Yes. And okay, I sent it to you, sa and I said, please tell the producers <laughs> to restore this song. Put it back. Put it back. It I, belongs I, in a museum. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I, I won't ask whether it's in the movie, but I just want it on record that yeah, in the, in the, uh, Base reality of the George Lucas talk show universe. George Lucas asked that song, asked yes. for that song, <laughs> right, to be inserted. Back and into and the, into Watto canon. wanted the uh, Seven Dwarves Sell War Bonds ad produced by the Walt Disney Company to become canon. That is a real I just, ad. I just think. I mean, but what about the hand washing song in this day and age? Don't you think we need it back? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Who said no? Oh boy. Do you realize what we're doing right now? Who hates washing hands? Yeah. A dirty boy. <laughs> That's a dirty Use boy. Use pen in the house tonight. Oh man. Yeah. Patrick, and we that'd know, be a great we moment. We all know what I wanted in the movie. What do you say? We all know what I wanted in the movie. Oh, Patrick, this better <laughs> be good. This better be great, Patrick. Oh, you wanted child no, labor. No, those kids. Yeah, I want those child kids. Labor. Patrick, we had someone uh, just say, uh, sh shout an anti-hand wash. We had a dirty boy in the audience. Uh, uh, yeah. That's a great cue for you to show us the dirty part of your apartment. <laughs> Woo! Come on! Let's see it. I mean, it's not... Patrick, do you oh. heard that dirty? Oh. Oh. It's just no. not Turn it off. Meticulous. Turn it off. Not as Take him off. <laughs> not as meticulously put together as this. Uh, we'll ask for the other side later because we, uh, Lord knows, we need something to look What's on the to. other side? <laughs> yeah. But we need a minute sure, to recover sure, sure, from sure. it. <laughs> Shall can we get? I, wait. Can I actually? I, yeah. We want to show you guys. Can I actually show you something? Oh, is it a plane we ticket? We got a piece of Is fan it a plane art. ticket to New York and you're going to show up? Is it a time machine that allows no, you to not. have been here on stage 40 minutes ago? <laughs> It'd be so great if we were interacting no. with it because it would explain the delays. Yes. If this was all pre-taped. Yeah. Yes. And we rehearsed this meticulously. <laughs> yes. Like a full 40 minutes of Patrick. And yes. somehow I found time to That's learn my right. cues. You did all of your cues correctly. Yep. And now Patrick just walks in through the back. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Now, what do you got, Patrick? Yeah. What do you got for us? Um, well, I want Max to bring this up. But this is from a guy named Josh Blake made this for us. And he wanted Josh me to show Blake. this off. Okay. Turn, ar turn around. I can see it on the thing. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's really so good. Cool. Isn't that cool? Isn't that That's cool? Really good. That's really good. I uh, love it. It's my uh, pre-pandemic weight. My pre-pandemic weight. Yeah. 
Anyway. <laughs> anyway. We brought the room down. <laughs> Thank you, Josh Blake. Um, Thank you, Josh Blake. We should, we should start giving away some Life Day presents, don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. We got, we got a lot of, we got a lot of stuff. Yeah. Uh, but we should figure out why people get things that they get. We have to create this system. Oh. It's like the Hunger Games. It's exactly like. And, and I've sorry, so you've already been. Notoriously done well there. So. <laughs> we we uh, you you will know exactly how to do this. Yes. Uh, and Wado, you're an old hand at this. Yes. Um, and what? Patrick can be left out of this decision making process. Fine, I get it. You get That's it. Fine. That's great that he I gets get it. I get it. It's great that he okay. gets it. I'm happy. We um, have many gifts to give away. So great. I'm usually not asked to be at like award ceremonies, so I'm really excited. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> Don't right. me. Right. I'm right. making a joke. Right. I'm allowed. <laughs> right. All right. Uh, this is a. Uh, you know, I was calling this a. Are <laughs> you calling it a slanket? A slanket. Do people, yeah. do people not know that term? Yeah. And I thought it meant slip-on blanket. But it, it's it not comfortable. Blanket with sleeves. Sleeved blanket, yeah. right? Yeah. But it's a snuggie. It's a snuggie. But, yeah. but I don't know. Will we get in trouble for saying snuggie? Well, like. I thought snuggie was the trademarked one. Yeah, it oh. is. Oh God, you're so oh, hard to okay. move around. Okay. Okay. George, so please. It is very hard to move around in these. Yeah. Yeah. It's not an outfit. It's a no. blanket. No. <laughs> where Where are you trying to get to, George? <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, I guess we should debut a new blockbuster character. A blockbuster new character for the show. Whoa. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. Wow. Oh, yeah. There he is. Misa wants to wish you a happy life day. What? Everyone get that? Yeah. yeah. Giving you the time? <laughs> All right, oh it's two God. minutes fast. But it also says 40 different phrases. Hi, y'all. Misa Jaja Banks. Misa Day starting pretty okay day with a pretty morning munching. Where are Misa going? Misa coming. Misa coming. George, can we share this character's proper name? Because I'm seeing it right there in yeah, the package. Yeah, <laughs> Jar Jar Binks Wake Up System. This wake Up System! <laughs> the Jar Jar Binks Wake Up System, your time-telling friend. Finally, after all these years, you can wake up to Jar Jar shouting, Misa coming, Misa coming. <laughs> Usually I only hear that in my dreams, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Where is the thing? I don't know what you're trying to do. Okay. There's three different Okay, things. hold on. I'm so... You take the mic. <laughs> Misa so tired. This has been a long day, eh? Misa thinks it's a bedtime. Mm. Oh, this is cozy. Good night, sir. Tomorrow is starting with the morning munching. Oh, boy, boy, I love yours. <sighs> Uh, for those in the audience, he vibrates when he snores. We he also, get someone. He also vibrates when he says Misa come and Misa. Yeah, <laughs> he does. I'd say that's less we of a vibration someone. and more of a shudder. No. We just really want you to get the full essence of what you're getting yourself into. <laughs> well, here's the thing. We're going to give this little guy away. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I want to make it clear to anyone who wants to own this. Who thinks they want to own this? Who thinks? Show of hands. Wow. Show of hands. Right. Most, pe most people should. Now let me say this. Uh, on the hour, he tells you what hour it is. <laughs> Invaluable. In, in this day and age, invaluable. I also set the alarm for 7 a.m. Okay. <laughs> Get a bright start on tomorrow. Who's got the busy day planned? Yeah. <laughs> All 
All right. Oh, man. How do we now? Um, How do we now decide? I, okay, wait. Okay, so if you're yeah. raising your hand, stand up. Let's just so we can get a better count of this. Okay. Oh my god. Because I think we're gonna have should, to. We should give it to someone. There's we also... should give it to someone who saw West Side Story in a theater. Oh, oh, great question. Okay, okay, good. Okay, so people are self-selecting. So all three of you. <laughs> okay, so if you're standing up, if you're standing up, you want this, you're ready to wake up at 7 a.m. tomorrow, you have a busy day planned, and you saw West Side Story in theaters, correct? I love the honesty. Some people did sit down to be like, I didn't do that. I appreciate so. This is an honest community. Okay. Nothing but honest. Okay, now, did we're, we're four left? Four? Five. Five? Five. Did any one of you see West Side Story in theaters twice? Oh. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. This guy's still standing. All right. I'm standing over here. <laughs> this is like handing someone an Oscar. <laughs> and the judge are those two. Wow. Earn. Earn. Now, now, we've, we've made... For the record, I saw it twice in theaters, Rachel. Thank you, Wado. Anytime. Is that, is that true, Wado? Yeah. <laughs> IMAX opening weekend. IMAX. Then, IMAX opening weekend. <laughs> For one reason. Lincoln Square. Nice. And That's then, actually, that is where the IMAX? whole cast saw it for the first time at Lincoln Square oh, AMC. Maybe the best screen in New York City. And it's then true. I saw it six weeks later in... Mount Kisco. <laughs> Only other people the in the theater were an old couple. Who... The land of the Eiffel Tower. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they talked a lot. Okay. Now we made some people sad because there were people who really wanted that uh, Jar Jar Binks wake up system. Oh. <laughs> oh. And here's what we want to. Here's what I think I want to gauge. Okay. Who here is saddest? <laughs> That they did, that they failed to get the stand oh, up. That, that if person was most so sad. Oh. Stand up if you felt close if you're gonna and quiet. sad. Okay, so it's it's the four of you, our four previous contenders. Okay. They're really sad. Five. 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 Okay, but had you seen West Side Story in theaters? Uh, no. Sit back down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You'll get the chance later, but not for this. I think we yeah, should have. Yeah, you'll get a, a chance when Hunger Games comes out. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should have a sad off. That's how you get I think yeah. we should find sad a way off. to actually gauge the level I, uh, of sad. A dry cry, I think, a is a great way. A dry cry. A dry cry. Right there. I think we need an Anakin, you're breaking my heart off. Okay. <laughs> great call. That's great. I once beat Adam Pally at a, at a dry cry contest. Well, Famously, the jury, yeah. jury's still out, I guess. No, uh, you, did, you beat him. Okay, uh, I'll tell uh, him. Ramona. You beat him. <laughs> Ramona. Are you back? Yeah, okay, I'm going to hand you my mic, okay? And what we're going to need is from each of these audience members, or is there an extra mic back there? Yeah, there's one over there. Wow. Hello? Right behind oh, oh, there. perfect, okay. So it's, it's these four standing right here. We're gonna go to them one at a time, and we want to hear their best delivery of Anakin, you are breaking, breaking my, my heart. heart. Now by best, I don't mean emotional, no. <laughs> oh I'm not going to be judging it based on human emotion. No. Never. <laughs> never that, George. I, I just want you to say the words in a way that I could picture being in one of the movies. But let's, let's also Would just clarify. <laughs> we have one of Hollywood's brightest new stars sitting here today. Where? <laughs> who is going to be the official judge here. Oh, no. <laughs> Along with master mm -hmm. filmmaker That's George right. Lucas. George Lucas is here, and you're like, Rachel's the 50-50. No, because here's why. Rachel Zegler. Queen of the dry cry. We want to see your sadness, but God forbid if you shed a single real tear, you are eliminated. In done. Instantly. And that's hard. To be a dry cry. All right. All right. What's it, say your name yeah. and then give us nice hat. your line rating and dry okay. cry. Okay. Uh, Michael. Hi, Michael. Hello, Michael. Okay. Michael, like the microphone. Yes. <laughs> mm. Any relation? Any relate? Are you related you to the microphone? Yeah. If you are, you're disqualified. <laughs> no no okay. nepo babies. No. You read the all right. vulture. We all read. The, <laughs> yeah, we all read the nepotism. Baby. I, I was not in it. Okay. So. Right. Okay. So, dry cry. Dry cry. Anakin, you're breaking my heart. Oh come on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That was really. 
Okay. Dry, dry. And, and that hat. Check out that hat, too. George Lucas talk show hat. Get some bonus points for that. Our people will call your people. All right, what's, what's your name? Hi, I'm Sean. Sean? Hi, Sean. All right. Sean. Anakin, you're breaking my heart. Uh, yeah. Okay, and wait. And show okay. us, yeah. show yeah. us the eyes. Yeah. Hold up your finger. Yeah. Dry. Gotcha. Dry. Dry. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay. Thank you. Thank you, Ramona. Thank you, Ramona. Right. Okay. So thorough. Hello. Hi. Name, please. Uh, Devin. What is that stupid shirt you're wearing? Whoa. <laughs> Normally, I wouldn't wear it outside the house, yeah. but I. Uh, it says what Watto is it? Fan Club. No, it's just it's hard to even parse what nonsense <laughs> would be on your shirt. Yeah. Uh, you know. Do, do you want me to describe what's on yeah. the shirt? Devin, what does it say? Devin, exactly. I, I can't uh, see it, Devin. There's a, there's a yeah. stick figure drawing of uh, a snowman or some sort of snowman-like figure. Okay. Is it Olaf? Uh, is it Olaf? Six or one, you know, whatever. It's not Basically Olaf. Basically the same thing. Um, below that is uh, a I message, a message which reads... <laughs> I'm asking if the snowman confirm. is Olaf. The snowman is not Olaf. I want to hear it from it's, him. It's not, it's not Olaf? Just not. say so it. So you're confirming Just it. Just say it. Great. Okay. It's not Olaf. You, yeah, you uh, asked him before you said it. It's not Olaf? <laughs> what does the did, message Did we say? come to a consensus? Is it Olaf or is it not it, Olaf? I know Georgia. from Olaf. It's this not. is no Olaf. Okay, Great. it's not Olaf. I don't care right. anymore. <laughs> cool. Happy to know it. Uh, cool. Below it reads a message which reads, and I'm reading this upside down. Sure. Uh, Misty Blanky, uh, you could have stopped me. I gave you all the clues, XOXO Gossip Man. This feels a this totally feels normal, like a totally normal plug. message to have below a drawing of a stick man. Yeah, snow. I was going to say I cannot I, imagine that shirt sold well. No, if I, I work for a podcast that invested a lot of money I don't, into inventory I don't, for that shirt, no, 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 I'd be feeling foolish two years later. Feel I don't, bad? I don't feel silly we, having we bought this right away, anticipating it would sell out at all. Like I'm totally no, happy that I no, owned yeah, this for a year. We should, we should be getting it. We should be getting ad money for this. Yeah. <laughs> Devin, have you ever frequented a dry cry? No. Okay. Would you like to give it your best shot? Uh, yeah, I'll do my best. Okay. How fucked up would it be if I just said something else? I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> really fucked up. Don't Pretty play the odds up, here, don't. Man. <laughs> What's What's the line again? I Anakin, you're breaking my heart. Red flag, guys. Great. Great dialogue. Great, di great um, line of dialogue. <laughs> great line. That's good. Well done. Well done. Rolls off the tongue. Anakin, you're breaking my heart. So true. Now he asked, nice here's the thing. Yeah. He great. asked for the line. Yeah. He asked for the line, but he got the inflection he correct. The inflection. Right. Yeah. He, he did mm. say it the right way. He so. Mm. Okay. Okay. Next That's guy. We don't do that. We don't, That's this is not that kind of comedy flags. show. Not it's Not that kind of comedy show. Not funny. It's yeah. Not well, don't, don't punch down. Okay. Double yeah. red flag. I have great news for everyone who participated in this contest because you're all winners. Do we have one more? We have one more. We have one more. Oh wait, someone else? Oh, spoiler, yeah. spoiler, spoiler. We might not have great news. <laughs> Let's see, it's conditional. Hi, I'm Grant. Hi, Grant. Hi, Grant. Hi, Grant. Hi, Grant. Anakin, you're breaking my heart. Okay. All right. It was giving like 2000 emo boy. Uh, dry cry with a little local fry. I, I, look, good. I don't know if this is the metric that matters most, but I heard a lot of, of Portman on that one. Yeah, there's a, I heard, I heard mm. some Portman on that. There were elements Portman of that. Portman. I heard yeah. a lot mm. of Portman. All right. <laughs> uh, Ramona, uh, we're going to need you because I got to distribute prizes to all these winners. Because, uh, 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 Rachel, uh, I what mean, do you think? It's, I mean, it's an impossible. It's task. impossible. Yeah. We can't. We're only human, right? We, yeah. We're I mean, only who human are, and who are we to judge? And Wado. CGI. <laughs> who are we to judge other than exactly. the judges of this specific exactly. contest? Yeah. Who are we to who judge? Are we besides to judge? The Hollywood besides elite. The Hollywood yeah. stars of yesterday and tomorrow, yes. right? Yes. Right. T right. Then Wado <laughs> No, tomorrow is better. Oh, fuck. <laughs> tomorrow is better. <laughs> tomorrow. Because you know what? It's 10.25. Today is almost over. Yeah, you don't want to be the star today. So for an hour and a half, I am no longer. Yeah. I'm not, tomorrow, you can be a star. The stars of tomorrow include some overlap with stars of today. 
But I didn't want to say you were a star of today and tomorrow because that sounds like you're overextending yourself. <laughs> and boy, am I. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't right. that the problem with this industry, the multi-hyphenates? Oh, my Focus God. Focus on one thing. Yeah. Be the star of tomorrow or today. <laughs> or today. Pick a lane. Pick one. Yes. So uh, the gentleman who had such difficulty describing his T-shirt. Yeah. And that definitely, <laughs> the fault was on the gentleman and not the shirt. Yes. But the shirt was great. Uh, but, uh, I mean, in, in the defense of the shirt, when asked a simple question to confirm whether or not the snowman was Olaf, he hedged. Sure. But the, the, I have to say it cost him. Devin. This is Devin the shirt Devin? man? Yeah. Yes. Devin the shirt uh -huh. man? Devin the shirt man. And then, following an excellent dry cry performance, we would agree, excellent dry cry? Yeah. Yes. He then made a joke at the expense of the... Of the, of the retired filmmaker George Lucas. That's right. Who was right in front of him. I think that's disqualifying. I think that's out. Oh. No, no, he still won. He still won. Yeah. He still won. He won a teeny tiny little Darth Vader. Hey! All right. He's just teeny right. tiny. Teeny tiny. Look how tiny, teeny tiny. Look how tiny it is. Teeny I can tiny. attest. I can attest it is very tiny. Yeah. And Patrick, just so I'm you the know, authenticator. there's only one thing we've established as being disqualifying in this competition. <laughs> Uh, presently yeah. being in Los Angeles. Yeah. <laughs> um, the yeah. guy, the guy who put a lot of port portman on it. Yeah, yeah, the final contestant who put a lot of portman on it. We liked his style, didn't we? Yeah, we liked his style. We did. There was there was portman on it. Yeah. What else did you think about that one? Uh, I got a wave before uh before the performance, and I really appreciated that. Kind. <laughs> That's good. Not afraid to to greet. The judges. It's really nice to walk into a casting like room and then, you know, be able to be nice to the people behind the behind the desk. You should yes. always do that. Yes. Right. Wink. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're gonna <laughs> give him this Jabba. <gasps> Look Jabba. At that! What's it called though, George? What is it called? It's it's Jabba the Hut. It's just but, but it, it has Jabba a, Glob. Jabba Glob it's called is Jabba the official Glob. title. It's it called the Jabba Glob. It has a uh, and this is vintage. It's a it's a container of non-toxic, but that was 1999. This yes. is oh my god! Water soluble. Wait, can jelly. they open it? It's not can open. Can we have them open it? Let them decide. I want them to open it. Okay, all right. Maybe all right. they want right. to preserve the value. You could have opened it if you were in New York, Patrick. You! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Sorry. We're going to ask if he wants to come up here and open it on stage. All right. All right. Um, and then who do we have before that in the dry cry? Uh, we have our first two contestants. Right. Sean. George Lucas talk show hat. And the microphone. Yeah. We have yes. Sean and Mike. And then Mike, Mike and Mike. Mike and Sean. Mike yeah. and Sean. Mike yeah. and Sean. Yeah. Mike and Sean. All right, Sean. Sean in the hat over here, right? No, no sorry, <laughs> sorry. Sean right there. Mm -hmm. um, let me ask both of you, what's your shoe size? Uh, 12 and a half. Okay, you're out of it. <laughs> Michael? Mike, 10 and, <laughs> 10 and a half? All right, it's not gonna feel good, but it's close. <laughs> you will feel Whoa. pain. What are they? Can I confirm these are previously these are stage and screen worn shoes. By retired ah. filmmaker George Lucas. These are the shoes I tried wearing for all of our uh, post pandemic. You tried? Uh, tried. Yeah. <laughs> Emphasis and on they, the word tried. They, they, they never broke in. Oh. <laughs> but the good news for you is now they're undersized. <laughs> are you happy with that, Mike? I'm very happy. And I noticed, uh, Sean, how did you feel when you were kicked out of the contention for this? Sad. Sad. You made good, kind of a face, choice. right? You grimaced. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so you're going to get a little grimace. Everyone needs a little Those grimace. are from the recent Happy Meals for Adults uh, that you could go and uh, go to order them at the McDonald's, and the staff was very unhappy that these were made because all these adults started getting Happy Meals and they were too expensive, and they come with like art. It's like Grimace with a lot of eyes. It's like street art. <laughs> yeah. How did I not know about this? Well, yeah, Cactus was a Cactus Man. Cactus yeah. Man. Oh, wait, no, are you Cactus Man? <laughs> you said that it like you were. Like, that would have been man. crazy. <laughs> all right. So we given all the prizes, right, for we that? We did that. Uh, I, I mean, I have, I have some prizes. Uh, backstage, and I have a gift for you, George. But do you not have anything further for the audience right now? Um, maybe I. Well, Lance is willing to open the. 
Oh. Whoa. Grant, you're willing to? You're willing to open your Jabba glove? Come Jabba on, glove. Grant. Sounds Jabba really glove. wrong. Here we go. Here we open go. Open your Jabba glove. Here we go. That's very brave. That's very brave. Grant, Grant, I didn't realize you have also shown up in costume. Wow. Your mocap suit. I'm in my mocap suit. Hey, 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 hey. Oh my god, you were hey, filming hey, Way of Water, hey, right? Grant, Grant. <laughs> Grant. Um, you, did you sit uh, in the throne? Uh, you sat in the throne, uh, my friend. It's a motion capture, not a sit down and capture suit. <laughs> you gotta be mindful of the stage picture. That did not work for me. Wow. All right, now be careful. <laughs> what year this is this from, George? This guy doesn't care about original packaging. No, He's no. not. And that's okay. This has been sealed since the 20th century. Yes. Oh, it no. is immediately losing value in front of our very eyes. Now, oh. now, George, you pointed out that the goop was labeled as non-toxic in 1999. That's right, but that's pre-9-11. I was going to say, <laughs> a lot of things... 9-11, as they said, changed everything. A lot of so. things that we didn't used to think are toxic yeah. now haven't held up as well since 1999. That's right, although some of them have won Grammys. Yes, yeah, some of them. Hey, I, I do want to be clear. This, this Jabba Glob is older than Rachel. Yes, it is. <laughs> Fun fact, it is older than me. This is from 1999. So you respect that glob. We respect I do, your I do. This was the star of yesterday. <laughs> Don't forget oh, from whence right. you came. The glob goes inside Java. The, the glob goes inside the Java. <laughs> All right. Phrasing. The glob goes in the job. The glob in the job. And you it's ew. a classic glob job. Ew. You got the little plastic <laughs> package of gorgs here. I think little ew. plastic gorgs. Yeah, that's the food that he eats, the job of the hut. All right, you like, uh, uh, let, let me ask, Grant, you like the Jabba character? I do. He's, well, he's a bad guy. You don't like him, like, you don't respect him, right? Careful. You have to? We don't live in that. <laughs> oh. Not the toxic ways. <laughs> Hold on, can I see it for a second? <laughs> it's terrible. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> genuinely like bad. It. Genuinely bad. Yeah, you're also. You know, I don't fuck with goo. Your glob. Genuinely, like, <laughs> it's like it's. I don't fuck with goo. Can goo someone else confirm <laughs> what it smells like? I don't want to. No, no, you don't have to. Let what me if I die? Rachel doesn't fuck with. Rachel doesn't fuck with goo. I don't fuck with goo. Uh, Ramona, how would you describe the smell of the Jabba goo? Jabba glob. Jabba glob. <laughs> kind of like. Vinegar and wheat paste. That's okay. yeah. that's worse than I imagined. Okay, that's not good. Okay, the gorgs are going into I the glob. I cannot believe that we're doing an unboxing. And then the gorg glob will <laughs> go into the Java. Oh. It's getting violent. To be fair, Rachel, this isn't an unboxing. This is a, a, an unblobbing. <laughs> Okay, looks good, looks good. He's presenting it like a Somali. Yeah, yeah. it's like... <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm Googling to try and figure out what's in the glob, what's in the glob itself, it's and the really only what? websites I can find about it are people it's concerned solid. about what, mov oh, what yeah. movie this figure's based on. It's solid. <laughs> So what happens when you put the java back together? Does the well, glob... I think the, Devin's concern is that the glob might it's not want to move. Because it's 23 years old. You have, <laughs> I'm really Do you have glob on your see. thumb, Grant? No. Yeah. I keep calling you Devin, I'm sorry. All right, you, you've done very good here. Grant, are you happy that you did this? <laughs> are you, are you proud? Happy. Grant, Woo. for your bravery. We're going to give you the second. Mint in box. In box. in box. And Grant doesn't give a fuck about original packaging. <laughs> he is going to take that apart. <laughs> He's going to take it apart. Oh, my God. Turn oh, the camera, Grant. He's, He's taking it for granted. I'm sick right now. I'm sick right now. Ran. <laughs> Wait, George, can you set the alarm on this one? Yeah. Yeah. 5.30 a.m. for you. Yeah, I think it's got to be earlier. Uh, All right, Grant. Grant, let's take this off the stage. Yeah. <laughs> Give it up. George, you make a good wow. pitch, though. Grant should do a, a, 
a YouTube unboxing show called Taking It For Granted, <laughs> where he just decimates packaging. Who would like these graphic novels that we forgot to give out at Comic-Con? Oh, yes. Star Wars Dr. Alpha. You? You on? You're the closest. <laughs> Dr. Afra, George, it's Afra. Ah, come on. Woo! Come on. It's true that we had the writer of this comic on our uh, comic That's right. redistributing. Panel. Very sweet. Oh, it's the long. Sharing. You yeah. didn't want Happy Life Day. A Life Day test. miracle. You passed the test. <laughs> um, we got a lot more to give out, but do you have something you want to go off stage to take care of? It might take a moment, yeah. It might okay. take a moment, but uh, I'm sure I'm sure the two of you can fill the stage. We will make conversation. <laughs> we will, yeah. I'm hubbub, here, hubbub, Bono, hubbub, I'm here hubbub, too. Hubbub, 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 I said I'm sure the two of them can fill the stage. <laughs> Rachel, would you like to help me throw some t-shirts at the crowd? I would love to. <laughs> I would love to. Um, Should I just like walk around and just start tossing? Yeah, let's just talk about like the state of the industry Woo! or whatever. Um, Shit is bad, folks. <laughs> Shit is rough. I'm sorry, I'm so what if sorry. I made this a real? I'm really so sorry. I'm so. I'm a bad. Uh, I'm a bad. Sir. Sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Rachel, do you still enjoy acting? Sorry. Do you want Rachel. One? Rachel. What? Ooh, that's a good question. Do you what? still enjoy acting? Um, yeah, I really do. I love to act. Yeah. Fun fact about me, I am doing what I love for a living and I feel really blessed. Um, I have no one to thank but myself. And <laughs> no, I mean to be fair, I've gotten to make two movies with my boyfriend, which is pretty fun. He's watching, by the way, which is really fun. He's watching at home. Hi honey. Um, yeah, that makes things a lot more fun, but, uh... Yeah, I'm putting together a museum with my wife. That's really fun. <laughs> is, she, is, she watch, is she watching at home? She doesn't watch this show. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yes, Rachel, does he, rem does he remember that he was on this show? He does. He does remember that backstage, oh, okay. at, the, right, backstage at the Oscars, he was on the show. Um, and he actually, yeah. he was going to come tonight because he wanted to meet you guys. And I said, well, you know, Patrick's not going to be there. And he said, mm. And that's why I didn't go. See, that's I what happy meal boxes look like. Oh, shit. Okay. Can you reassemble that? Yeah, I'll do my best. Yeah. Guess who's back? Do you realize like, arts and crafts can be Guess who's back? <laughs> oh, no. I'm the king of the world! <laughs> oh, no. Biggest movie star on the planet in the house? Is, is this is Jake Sully. Yes. Number one movie star. Co, Jake Sully, Steve. The people Coe. wanted Shazam too. They did. They wanted it on time. Jake Sully had to come save the movie theaters first. Tom Cruise was a nice warm-up act. Well, you know what? <laughs> Anthea's coming, and the hierarchy of the DCU is about to change. <laughs> Now, Jake, first of all, congratulations on another big hit movie. All about legs, all about legs this holiday season. Um, you're basically king of the box office right now. Absolutely. And would you agree that, in a way, Avatar is kind of like a modern fairy tale? The ultimate. All right, how would you like to give away this book by Stephen King called Fairy Tale? And it's, and it's blue in honor of the Navi. Is it's it for me? No, it's not for you, give it away. <laughs> <clears throat> Who here has seen Avatar, The Way of Water, Six times in theaters! <laughs> Who had the time? Yeah, it's, I don't know if it's technically possible. Yeah. And the movie Do is so seen long that, six that times. Isn't the movie like a day long, though? Yeah. Who has seen The Way of Water? Three times! <laughs> Fuck. Twice! We're gonna be here a while. Twice? twice. There's some twice, twice. people twice. out here! Wow. Yeah, is it again? No, no, there's another song. Oh. Too, I think. Who's the other person that they saw it twice? Also in the back, you see? <laughs> yeah, do you want, I, got, I got it, I got it. I'm coming for you. <laughs> Jake, I am a woman Jake, of the people. <laughs> I am a woman of the people. I forgot the Jar Jar comes with a little robot, a little droid. And I don't want him to set, I don't want him apart. 
He sits right next to him. Aww. Yeah, it's beautiful, right? That was really nice. George, I it's a lifetime say, miracle. It's been so vindicating. It's been so satisfying. <laughs> biggest movie star in history. Star the number one biggest movie of all time. 13 years, everyone made fun of me. <laughs> they said, oh, he's boring. We don't even remember his name. And the satisfaction, the victory lap of walking out here tonight and hearing this crowd unanimously chant, Jake Sully, Jake Sully. <laughs> People were dying for me to They return. were chanting Star Wars detours. Big <laughs> Sully. You and I are very similar, Rachel. <laughs> How? Unknown ingenues. Yeah. Plucked by legendary directors mm -hmm. to star in Best Picture nominees mm -hmm. that are the best movies ever made. <laughs> I know some of those words, yeah. We had the same art. <laughs> Except I didn't book four more movies afterwards. I Woo! waited a while. Yeah, but you did eventually book four more movies. Yeah, four more <laughs> avatars, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm just sitting on a fucking hard drive for 10 years. How long, Jake, before Avatar will be one of those things like, you know how they have like uh, the AMC's The A-List or yeah. like Regal Unlimited where you can just get an Avatar card and let you know unlimited avatars at your local movie house. Uh, we tried to do it for this movie. Yeah. Which is why I asked if anyone had seen it six or seven times yet. No, but I mean, once you have 10 avatar movies made, which right. is inevitable, right? Imminent, yes. yeah. You're going to go into double digits because if the first four are hits, they're going to want to make six more, we're right? You're never going to stop. Yeah, yeah, you're never going to stop? No. Is that a spoiler? Yeah. Here's a spoiler. Yeah, right. yeah. We will yeah. never stop making avatars. And that's a threat. <laughs> Uh, Jake, you, you got a you got a haircut, Jake. What do you mean? What are you talking about? You don't have your you don't have your new trademark dreadlocks. That's a wig, Patrick. It's movie you magic, movies Pat are made? Patrick. You moved to LA and you don't realize that movies aren't real. You don't realize that movies. Aren't real? <laughs> it's a hard. That's a hard way to find out, buddy. You're talking to a blue guy. We're asking where his <laughs> dreads are. Ooh. It looked good. I thought it was real. It looked good. The fun thing about doing it like this is that only you guys are mic'd for me, so I just assume the audience is laughing at everything. It's but been, it's a very it's been weird... radio silent in here the entire time. I mean, I believe that. Especially when you come on screen, everybody just... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Patrick, mm -hmm. what you're missing is that the whole time there's this quiet hum of like, Jake Sully, Jake <laughs> Sully. <laughs> like they're losing their fucking minds. You were the biggest stars in Hollywood on stage. The same time. I was in Beverly Hills Cop 3, which did pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. And you had a great you had a great line reading in that one too. Hey. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> they say it's for horses, but it's also for actors. Right? Yeah. Hey. It's my favorite. Rachel, I realize I know I gave you a life day gift already. Yeah. But I do have another gift that I have to give you them. It's actually not even a gift. You're owed it. No. Which is that you sang a song on the on George, the George Lucas Lucas CD. record. Oh my, gosh. oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Yeah. I love something that says race theme Rachel Zegler by John Williams is so stupid. <laughs> yeah. And we did pay royalties. He made like a couple hundred bucks. He made a couple hundred bucks. Yeah, off of that. I love it. And I guess we need to find out if anybody in the audience has a record player. Oh my God, I'm on the cover. Like I said, yeah. I'm on the little K on the talk part. The guy who said, yeah. I didn't realize. Let me ask you, are you a, are you a happy record player person or are you someone who's like, I only get a pressing from one plant in Germany. <laughs> That's beautiful. Oh, yeah. beautiful. Family, right? Beautiful. Avatar's family all about is family. Family is a fortress. Family is a fortress. Family is a fortress. Is your family a fortress, sir? Is your family a fortress, sir? <laughs> All right, you want a George Lucas talk show record? Woo! Ah. And you get a record, and you get a record, and you get a record. Do you want all these records? <laughs> George! What? I just got a pile of records. I don't need them all. What, what's in that's that pile, random. George? What kinds are in there, George? All right, here. You don't have to go through them all. Uh, I don't want to make George Lucas talk show? No. No, no, there's some... There's definitely some thrift store finds. Name what they are, George. You have to name what they are. Oh, oh. Over the Garden Wall soundtrack. You like that? All right, you get that one too. <laughs> Sorry. 
Thanks. <laughs> this is so the community. Life Day. Am I right, guys? Like some Randy Newman. Life Day. Some Randy Newman. Yeah, I, I fucking Randy love Newman. Randy Newman. Randy Newman. Yeah, Randy Newman. Yeah, what do they got? Got a uh, little criminal. Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> Land of dreams. Yeah, I find short people funny as a song because I hate them. <laughs> fucking the V. I'm ten feet tall, bro. It's hard to be on stage with you, Jake. What did you say, Rachel? I'm five foot two. It's really hard to be on stage with you. We've only got. Oh, I see you. Thank you. I feel like I can't just list all the other records. I'm so glad that somebody cheered for my height. (laughs) If you don't want any of these, pass them around. Make sure they get a good home, okay? It's just random stuff. From George Lucas, though, so tell your friends. Does anyone here have have an active Napster account? Does anyone have an active Napster account? I feel like this is a good moment to promote. I have an EP coming this year. It's a Napster exclusive. It's exclusive to Napster Plus. It's called Songs in the Key of Jake. It's mostly me doing James <laughs> Blunt covers, but I couldn't get the rights to You're Beautiful. So it's mostly James Blunt B-sides. <laughs> Rachel, do you get um, tired of fans of this show tagging you and stuff about this show? No. I love it. I, I mean, I, like I said, when I came out, I can't believe I'm like famous for being on a show that I'm not on. And also the amount of times I was working in London shooting Snow White and uh, the amount of people who came up to me who s- purely only knew me from this show and nothing else. <laughs> nothing else. Really? Yeah. Yes. And that, I love it. That's I love crazy. It. I love it so much. It's my fa- I don't get tired of it at all. That's I love wild. when people tag me and stuff like this. That's wild. Does it, anybody wild. feel like they didn't get a gift for Life Day in the audience? Is there anybody there? really upset right now? Yeah. Oh, oh it's uh, <laughs> Cactus Man. Oh yeah, no, Cactus Man needs. You like something. Uno? You like Uno? Like the number or the card game? <laughs> or both? Because it says both. Hey. Do you want me to go the give Star it? Wars Uno. Who's Cactus Man? You like that? Who's Cactus Man. Cactus Man. Who is Cactus Man? Patrick I mean, doesn't know who we are, but we do. Man? Happy Life Day. What? Uncle George. I have a gift that you gave me at one of your shows pre-pandemic. Pre-pandemic. I, I thought you were going to just say the gift I gave everybody, which is the Star, Star Wars, Wars universe. <laughs> the Indiana Jones three. universe. The American Graffiti Trilogy. It's in my heart. It's oh. a, yeah. But, but, but I gave you a real gift at a show. You did. What was it? I have treasured it, and I would love to hand it back. Ooh, oh, that is the true show. meaning of Life Day. The true meaning of Life Day is regifting. Can I say, this spotlight on Cactus Man is amazing. It was like this was planned. Yeah, it was kind of beautiful, and I heard angels sing. Cactus Man is glowing. It's the anthology How of the Howard the Duck. Duck. How with the Duck anthology. Oh, wow. No Thanks, Cactus Man. How well done. the Duck. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, it's wow. the hard cover. Wow. wow. Someone said Jesus. Now if somebody doesn't bring it back next year, you're going to look like a dick. This is a nice idea. If it's a Life Day tradition that every year someone returns it, you have to it bring back it back on Life yeah. Day. Next year, 100 people idea. come back with a 35 millimeter film strip from Tucker, the man in his dream. <laughs> I'm here to return it. Or a it. random Randy Newman LP. <laughs> no, I took those. I'm taking those back to Pandora with me. Okay. Who here wants Howard the Duck in hardcover, the complete... You're sitting right in front of Cactus Man. This book could have just gone... Do you um, know Cactus Man? No, I don't know Cactus Man. This has not been prearranged. It's not a... Like, make me look generous, but get the book back to me. <laughs> I want to look like a big shot. I want shot. the book back. Sit right in front of me. Oh my God. I'll have that book and the glory of giving. Do you like the movie Howard the Duck? Beyond just the beautiful duck <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's not the way. That's not the way to my heart. By that the was the comment he chose. I'm famously unimaginative sexually. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my. It's not my. Anyway, I know I produced that movie, but I'm not. That's not me. Okay. <laughs> Come up here. <laughs> do, you, do you like the other Marvel movies? But this is the best one. This is the best Marvel movie. You know how sure. to, you know what? Yeah, you right really answer. stuck the landing. The That's origin good. of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. How was the duck? I, when I was watching the trailer for Shazam 2, I noticed there's a part where it looks like you get hit by a blast. Yeah. You're like, oh! yeah, 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 yeah. You're like flying through the air. Yeah. And it's like clearly something happened to you that your character didn't want to happen to Yeah. You. 
I'm I really figured glad that you out got just that. from your acting. I'm I was really like, glad you she got didn't that. choose to fly through the air no, like that. I did She got blasted. I did. By something. Yeah. And, and I could tell that, even though I don't know the plot of the movie. Only a good director would be able to point that out, I think. And absolutely only a good director. <laughs> yeah. Has James Cameron ever pointed Rachel. something out like that for you, Jake? Yeah, he's like, <laughs> uh, like, yeah, Jake, you're in it. Just stay in it. You're perfect. <laughs> like, he'll point at me sometimes and be like, Jake, that is good. I love it filmmaking as an art. Yeah. Yes, Patrick? Can you um, whisper a legitimate Shazam 2 spoiler into the George's ear? Don't put the mics near it. I just want like a real, like this is a real spoiler. No. Yeah. I don't want that to happen in the oh, movie. Oh, me neither. Or in real life. That'd be scary. Ah. Wait, George, can I whisper a real legit <laughs> Avatar 5 <laughs> spoiler to you? <laughs> Oh, careful, no mics. Okay, no mics. No mics, George, okay? All right. Okay. Yeah. So you know how Avatar 2, they like meet the water people? Yeah. In they, they were giant forest people. Yeah. In they live in the trees. They love a tree. Right. They didn't want the tree get burned down. Right. Now they go to water friends. Yeah. And then and then the third movie so is... the way of water, and that's, that's the way. Right. Yeah. Right. The third movie is called The Sound of Sand. Yeah. I hate sand. I it's, hate it's sand, rough bro. Right. It gets everywhere. The, the fourth movie is called The Gust of Dust. <laughs> yeah. Or I like that they start rhyming. Yeah. Well, then it changes. The fifth one's called The Feel of Fire. It doesn't rhyme. It's back to just alliterative. They should call it, they, I would drop the alliteration called The Ire of Fire. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Fuck. Tell, tell Jim to tell go Jim, back. Tell Jim. You're good at this, yeah. George. Yeah. Six, six one is called, like, uh, uh, it's called, like, <laughs> Uh, Can I pitch it? It should be yeah. called Avatar 6 of one, half a dozen of the other. Yeah, that's it. You got it. And then, and then the same day, he should drop the next six Avatar movies. Yeah. So like, I'll have a ticket for Avatar 6, and then like, oh shit, there's 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, yeah. 12. Don't tell anyone, though. I won't tell anyone. Jim will be so mad at me. I'll, do you want me to tell you a Star Wars secret? Oh my god, yeah. All right. Not. I walk Chris nickname is Luke the Duke. <laughs> Luke the Duke. And does Mark Skywalker. know? Did Mark know? I never told Mark. You never told Mark. <laughs> yeah. But his his. Oh, sorry, I'm bad at this part of it. I. Secret. It's a secret. <laughs> I've been on mic the whole time. Shit. Well, Patrick, what's our heart out? It's ten fifty three. I know you're producing uh, it, but you think it's what, 753, 853? Yeah. It's only 753. It's yeah, it's 753. So we have hours to go. We have at least five yeah. hours before, left of the before show. Before I sleep? Yeah. Um, I would say you wrap it up in seven minutes, right? Oh, well, okay. I think Wada was getting some presents, right? So I should go back and grab them. I'll yeah. say this show has felt really sluggish to me just because I'm used to like 48 frames per hour. Yeah. <laughs> 48 frames per hour, Jake? Yeah. <laughs> Talking to go back what? anyway. Fucking Avatar! <laughs> Sully! 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 Jake Sully. Uh, he flies around just as good as that other Sully. <laughs> like you I can't make that joke in New York. <laughs> What? That's a hap that's a happy New it's York. It's a happy plane New York crash plane story. story, but still. It is. I mean, because it's very. That was like the closest thing to Avatar in real life. Because you got all those birds, and then they die. And then right. in Avatar, whenever something natural dies, everyone's like, "Ah, no!" Yeah. There's probably like bird Avatar people, and they're like, "The birds were where everything was." Right. And those, they're like, no, those birds were in the, the Jake Sully's plane. What are we doing? I don't know. <laughs> I don't hey, know. hey, Rachel. <laughs> Rachel. Yes, yes. You're, um, you're sort of like the franchise queen now. Right. You're becoming Famously. a franchise queen. Yes. I wear that. Besides crown. Star Wars. Yeah, let's put this out into the world. What other franchise do you want to join? Let's, besides Star Wars. I d yeah, I mean, somebody just screamed Star Wars, which is very much what I wanted to do. I so said besides bad. Star Wars. I know, but like, think about it right now. I mean, I've. <laughs> I've <d> <laughs> I don't got friends. I got Shazam, Libro. Um, 
I'm really, yeah. I mean, like, I'm really happy to be in the franchises that I'm that I'm in already. I'm in the Disney wor- yeah. like world realm. I'm yeah. in D- DC, which you know is. Yeah, you're pretty good putting great. that Happy Meal together. Would you will be willing to join the McDonald Land? I would. Gang? I, I would love to hang to. around with Ronald and Grimace love, and the Fry you know Guys. What I'm gonna do after seeing the Barbie trailer. Rachel put, as Birdie. Put, put me in a Mattel movie. Like, oh if, yeah. I want a movie about some kind. Uh, yeah, give me Barbie too. Give me something, because after seeing Polly that trailer, Pocket? I want in it. I will be Polly Pocket. Yeah. Look at my earrings. They're super Polly Pocket. We can make yeah. it work. I, yeah. All right. Yeah. That's what I'm going to pitch. Yeah. Yeah. If I can't be Polly Young Ahsoka, Pocket. let me be. Le- if I can't be Young Ahsoka, let me mm-hmm. be Barbie. <laughs> or Polly Pocket. Sure. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Hi. Good there's, whis- there's whispering going on, and I feel left out. Do you want to oh, talk? We need the microphone. Yeah. Watto Did forgot you? his microphone. Uh, Watto. <laughs> Come get your microphone, Watto. He was whispering to me frantically. <laughs> Please, I need, I need my mic. Please. I was busy getting presents. My arms were full with generosity. <laughs> Thanks, Watto. I have holographic Star Wars Valentines for the whole audience. For the whole audience. Wow. That's so lovely. Because, I got, because Life Day, we want to be clear, Life Day is yes. not Christmas. No. It's all the holidays. Yeah. Yes. And that includes Valentine's Day. I think I should have enough for everyone. Oh, uh, but I also sweet. got a present for my favorite retired filmmaker. Oh. That's me. It's a I present. don't even need to be named. Yeah. I know it's me. You, you know? know it's me. How yeah. did you know it was you? I, I just had a feeling. Okay. Like you couldn't. Like I'd be shocked if it was someone else. Right. I don't think of other people right. who Right. Something like inside retired. of you is awake. Yes. Yeah. You had Something a feeling. Something inside of me is awake. Yeah. You've given me many great gifts over the years, George. That's right. Remember Some the remember Goofy and Mickey? Yeah, Goofy yeah. and Mickey. <laughs> Some may say that George gave you wings to make you fly. He gave me wings. He gave me a career. He gave me life. Have I ever told you you're my hero? My hero. <laughs> and everything I, I would, would like, like to, to be. Because <laughs> I could it's fly high higher than an eagle. I didn't mean to do that. Because you are Your the wings, wings beneath, beneath my wings. wings. That's beautiful, guys. Happy Life Day. The way of Watto. Did he make that joke when he oh! was out there? No. That felt like a no, gimmick. That is that, no, but that, that's... You, uh, you can make that joke. I can make that joke. He can't make that joke. He can't make that joke. <laughs> that's, anyway. that's a jo- if you're Tordarian, yeah. you can make that joke. If you're Tordarian, can make that joke. Anybody else, do not, that is no. not cool. Navi not cannot okay. make that joke. Yeah. I can make it, but I'm basically a Tordarian. You get the pass. He right? gets a Tordarian pass. Yeah. He gets a Tordarian pass. Just don't get that face. Listen, the ultimate friendship. God damn it. I was going to say the ultimate gift you give me over the years was your friendship. The ultimate friendship. The only friendship you give me is your gift. So I want to gift you with a new friend. But another term for a friend here is a blockbuster new character. And one who is hyper topical. George, I would like Uh to introduce to you Uh Judah Maccabot Jr. The robot who brings Hanukkah to life. A Hanukkah bring him out, robot. Bring him out. Bring him out. All right. Take hold him out of the box. Uh, hold on. Uh, hold on. I got the Mickey knife. You got the Mickey knife. No, I'm not going to kill him. There I got to open the box. Old friends meet new friends. No, Mickey knife is a, a character on the show. Uh, and it's not a weapon? He's no, a controversial he a figure. Weapon. He's both. Fan favorite character. Fan I wouldn't favorite, say fan yeah. favorite. A fan I wouldn't favorite say fan favorite weapon favorite. on stage. He's murdered like, other characters. Yeah. Uh, I also battery? have been with George. I've been with you multiple <laughs> times where, uh, like, mid-flight, you've been like, oh, shit, I forgot I have Mickey Knife on me. Yeah, Mickey Knife has been, You can thank your TSA to do a great job. Mickey Knife <laughs> floated back and forth across the country. Nobody knows. All right. <laughs> multiple times. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, no. Let me move my teapot. Is there ba- Are there batteries in this? Oh, that's a great question. <laughs> wow. Uh, you have triple A's. You on. have triple A's on you. You just have triple A batteries on you. Can I ask, in all honesty, is it because you thought there might be a new Judah Macabot tonight? <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, oh this my is God. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I 
Ahora. Okay. We need three double A's. Oh, shit. Who has three double A's? God damn it. Three double A's. Christmas. Hang three on. Double A's. Life Day is canceled. Life Day is canceled. No, I don't think so. Yeah. Wait, what? Is wait, wait, wait. If we consult the box. Someone's got double A batteries? We got right. wait a second. This thank place you. has everything. Incredible. Thank you so much. And thank you to the entire uh, staff here at Caviar. <laughs> Make these shows so easy for us. Uh, wow. Rachel, while they're doing this, I have, I have some bad news, Rachel. How could it get worse? Hey, Max, what can you bring up... Can you bring up the link I sent, Max? Uh, oh, this makes me nervous. Okay. <laughs> He's like, what's what's this happening? Is, this is sad. This is a little sad. I, and I hate to what? do this on Life Day because I know it's like... <gasps> what the hell? <laughs> okay, okay. I'm Let's sorry. not be too upset because Lily's lovely. We love Lily Collins. We love iconic eyebrows in Hollywood. Okay. Yeah, we love it. All right. <clears throat> it's fine. I'm gonna see what else Mattel owns. Okay. That's right. I will be the Rock'em Sock'em robot. This is a, I don't care. This is one of the, the, the least popular <laughs> new segments on the show. Mattel, her about it. Nice. Yeah. That was really good. Yeah. That was really good. Where Patrick breaks the news. Yeah. Honestly, where he just crushes people's dreams live yeah. on the air. On Life Day. Now, All right. Okay, Rachel. Rachel, you could. <laughs> in the new Hot Wheels movie. Someone said Fast and Furious. What if you're in the Hot Wheels is that, movie? Was that John Chu? Did John Chu say he's doing a Hot Wheels movie? I feel like I remember that. Is there a Hot Wheels? Oh, my God. I feel like John Chu is directing a Hot Wheels John Chu film. might have been attached to Hot <laughs> Okay. Patrick. Am I right? Here it is. Here it is. No, 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 but I found something for Rachel. You found uh, something? Okay, my Joel, agent, Patrick. <laughs> yes. On June 11th, 2010, Mattel launched Monster High, a fashion doll line featuring yes. the teenage children of famous and well-known monsters yes. like Dracula, Frankenstein, Cleopatra. The monster, the, the monster nepotism baby show. Yes. Wait. I so remember. Werewolf and the Mummy. You're Wait. just famous because you your dad's Dracula. Like, no, I'm not doing Monster High. It's already been done. Oh, they made a right. show. They what, made a show. In what world is Cleopatra, Cleopatra a monster? That's what I'm confused about. See, look. Yeah, Kyle Selig's in it from Mean Girls. Yeah, this is a okay. big multimedia <laughs> franchise, Patrick. Yeah. All, All right, right, Patrick. Uh, Patrick, keep digging. Keep digging, yeah. Patrick. But what about Betty Spaghetti? Was Betty Spaghetti? I in remember Mattel? Betty Spaghetti. You hear about Betty? Wait, yeah, they I own. Betty. They own Uno. They own Uno. I will make the Uno film. <laughs> It'll, thank you, Cactus. Okay. Yeah. It will be literally four hours of me Uno reversing with like Robert De Niro. <laughs> yeah. Me and Rob De Niro just. It's also built Uno for a reverse. sequel because who wouldn't want to see Uno too? Exactly. <laughs> right. Who is... I got every I got title Uno. is funny. Who wouldn't want to see Uno dos and then Uno, Uno dos, dos tres? Uno tres. <laughs> Uno dos tres. All right, uh, Wado, you want to cue oh, this great. up? Can you reverse me? Nice. Separating the Valentine's <laughs> Day cards. And I, they'll be up here at the table after we leave. People can take their own Valentine's Day cards. Yeah. Okay, ready? Cute. Folks, we're happy to introduce to the universe Judah Maccabot Jr. <laughs> he doesn't have the spinning dick, he's got actual feet. Are disco balls?
that nice. This is a lot. Uh, George, I should warn you, because I know we have a hard out at some point. Uh, one of the advertised features here is non-stop dancing. <laughs> non-stop. L'chaim, y'all. What's funny is, because he moves in a way that the microphone kind of goes in and out, it ends up sounding kind of like Drake, sort of. Like, it has that little bit of, a, of like, auto-tune warble. So Uno's been made, apparently. That's oh, what was going shit. on behind you the entire time. Oh, no. Guys, Here I was celebrating. Like I'm, never, I'm never gonna make another film, and that's okay. Um, this is me announcing be... my, my retirement. I'll do the Operation movie. But also, Rachel, to be fair, that Uno that got brought up, I knew no one in it, and it was two hours and 44 minutes long. That means it's probably, the, it's, so. it's probably the best movie ever made. Yeah. Oh, if so there's maybe, no one you've heard of in it, it's probably really fucking maybe good. Maybe time uh, to go to Hasbro. Uh, maybe join the competition. Oh. It's also one of those oh. things where you could always, you know, every now and then I know you have meetings where they're like, what do you want to do? Yeah. And Strange Magic is just sitting there. <laughs> It's like ripe for a second, third movie. Right. And, mm -hmm. and what'd you say? A what? Live action remake yeah. of Strange Magic. I haven't done enough of those, so yeah. I really need to do more. Well, <laughs> uh, Watto, I think we gotta we gotta end our life day celebration, Watto. Yeah. Uh, them's the rules, folks. Yeah, I ask people to only take one Valentine because I didn't have time to rip them all separately. But we got a selection <laughs> yes, of them so, here. So Pat, uh, uh, Watto is going to uh, leave these Valentines on the table. Yes. I'm also going to leave this Blu-ray of Cash Me If You Can. <laughs> if you want it. My, my buddy, buddy Steve, Steve yeah. made that, yeah. Yeah, I know, but I got the steel book. So with, I don't T, need this. with T. Hanks, who played Sully. That's right. Yeah. It, it all ties together. And, Le yeah, and, Leo, and Leo DiCaprio, Leo, who was in Titanic. Who was, who was in Titanic, made, by, was Jim made Cameron. by Jim Cameron. <laughs> yeah, some of these sound, uh, these are pretty threatening Valentines. There's one with Darth Vader that says, don't play games with me. <laughs> oh my God. You know what? <laughs> Modern dating, setting boundaries, I don't play games. I don't disagree with the sentiment. Yeah. He's pointing though, but and he's coming in hot. He is capable of murder and in a mass way. So yeah. let's yeah. like. And, and not all right. relationships are healthy. It could be that someone needs to hear that. No, it's, it's, it's possible that someone's seen the prequels and they know that it's a little bit toxic. But there's another one here. It's a stormtrooper holding a blaster, and he says, I've got my sights set on you! <laughs> yeah, but they, they can't hit anything, though. Yeah, they'll miss, they'll miss. These yeah. guys are striking and they'll out. they'll be like, I miss and you. And then they'll miss you. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think the best one here, the Chewbacca one just says, you got me howling. They should have done one where it's a uh, where it's a stormtrooper saying "I miss you so much." Exactly. Because that is really yeah. the most romantic thing a stormtrooper could say. And it would yes. be true. Yeah. I miss you. All right. I'm also gonna put uh, this. Uh, I don't know what this is. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, George. Right. Garbage on that table for <laughs> everyone. Oh, we're too. putting an afro you want on this there? thing too. There's What'd you this, say? There's this as well. If you want this, or is this yours? Yeah, I'm gonna drink. I was gonna drink that during the show, and I forgot about it. Okay. Oh. Do you want it? Um, I mean you. Uh, no, no, I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> Do you like hot chocolate wow. bomb? I've never had a hot chocolate bomb. I, I've just seen. Let's them get the hot water. Game. We'll try it. Yeah. Did you try to gift this copy hot of milk? Yeah, hot milk. Wow. Let's, let's what? Did you try know. to gift this copy of Seth Wimbledon Green to Jake Sully? Yeah. I think he already has a copy, so I'm putting it in the pile. <laughs> All right. Okay. So this is, this is hot. It's yeah. a gift okay, pile. You can't put it on the foil. You can't put it on the foil. Why not? I think you unwrap it. And then you I pour know, over. Foil. Yeah. Is this a Death Star? Oh, yeah, it's a Death of. Star. Oh, that's cute. It's like a chocolate Death, Death Star. Star. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and so we put. It's no moon. It's no man. It's no moon. Thanks, guys. Classic dialogue. <laughs> it's, Classic. Cla it's great dialogue. Well, well written. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh, oh God. Oh, fuck. Let's not cry <laughs> over it. Oh, you got it. <laughs> very good. Very good. <laughs> we knew this might happen. Wow, it's yeah. it's actually it's pretty uh, relaxing oh, to watch. Oh, oh, there it goes. The milk spill over. Stay on it's target. Kinda like, it's like stay, stay on, on target. target. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Thank you, Patrick. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, it's really weirdly it's, alive. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like when you tap bubbling. a clam, and you know the clam closes. Now, should we should we know? get you guys like other cups, or are you all just gonna drink out of this one? Oh, cup? that's for Rachel, right? No, it's not. No, that's oh, it's for, for Rachel. Rachel. Oh, okay. It's for you. I'll keep the mug, but you drink the drink. Yeah, we want you to drink. You came oh. out of here. You were you what were you whisked. You were conjured it? out of thin air. And you I gave was. Us I gift was just your... chilling in Bushwick. It's just and all hot. Of a sudden... It's hot milk. Do you drink hot milk? Um, it's okay yeah. if you don't. I yeah I have yes. All right, but it's okay if you don't. Don't I don't want to find out later. You're like I don't, but you pressured me. Imagine I like just start going into anaphylactic shock. Bad. I don't. I have I'm allergic to hot famously milk. Famously, I have a big imagination. That's one thing I do not wish to imagine. You don't want to imagine that. No, I'm no. a storyteller, and I'm like I don't want to see I that refuse. story. No. It's so you don't nice want to tell that you're one. You're on the show. Yeah. Okay. Do you think you'll like that? Yeah, right right now, the audience can't really see. Right now, it's just a cup of hot milk with just a piece of chocolate that's just like, poof. Yeah. It's basically turned from a Death Star into a Death Star 2. Queen has a spoon. Oh. Oh. Thank you, sir. Very good. Thank you, thank you. Queen thank has you. a spoon. Queen oh, has a spoon. And this is something that, like, yeah. I know we're running a little over. I apologize to Sorry, everyone. I apologize oh, to What everyone. is in here? That's right. Oh, it's there's a, a little Java. There's a, a little, little baby Yoda. Baby Yoda? A little baby Yoda. I don't know if everyone can see Is this. there a camera we can hold this up to? Is there anywhere this would be? It's what is this? It's a little baby Yoda. Oh, can you we, can see it on the Can we angle that out to a range so we can screen. at least get a good photo of that? You can see it on the screen. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm literally Oh, Patrick. Okay. Look at look at see. That's not me. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Oh, but it looks good. Yeah. See? <laughs> ah! <laughs> no, that's his whole thing, being in danger. <laughs> They'll get four more seasons out of this. This is the way. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, I'm just like impressed from almost like a, a chemical engineering perspective. This is sadistic. That that's did, hiding inside there. And people are screaming, eat it. And I just don't under, it's like, that's quite literally what like Oscar Isaac was saying on press tour. He was like, I just want to eat him. And I was like, that's so weird of you. You've friend. never had the thought, be honest. He's never I've crossed never had the, No, I've He's never. never. No, Otto. I've never looked at Baby Yoda and been like, yum, 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 yummy in my tummy. Like, not, no. not once. <laughs> not once. Have you watched an Hold episode on. of The Mandalorian and suddenly you realize you're licking your lips, you're holding a fork I and knife, you have a bib around your neck. Baby head. Yoda, Watto. <laughs> you say you never once looked at him and thought that. Have you ever looked away and thought it? Yeah. No! <laughs> just had to be sure. I Rachel. Just, I, I appreciate you checking all your boxes. Let me ask no. you a question. Have yes. you ever been stranded on a desert island with Baby Yoda? Yeah. Yes. And you're talking to Baby yes, Yoda. I have. Yes. And Baby Yoda's like, me, 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 me. Yeah, yeah. I and remember suddenly him. it's like, doodle, doodle. And Baby Yoda turns into like a roast chicken. A rotisserie chicken. <laughs> <laughs> right, but then that wouldn't be me wanting to eat Baby Yoda. That'd be me wanting to eat a rotisserie chicken. Transitive property, though. Check and mate transitive property. Transitive property, though. No, I've never wanted to eat Baby Yoda. What do you Yoda. think he tastes like? Like a rotisserie chicken. No, no. You think that's what it is? He's green. I, I bet don't it's know. more like a steak. It's probably... Like a steak, maybe? Has a ham steak? Do you remember Princess Diaries? Yes or no? Rewatch it, Reese. Do you remember like the green ice cream? She the pear ice cream. Yes. That's what I think Baby Yoda probably tastes like. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. a negative reaction hmm. from the audience. No, no. Make up your minds. Whose side are you on? I think that's a good take. <laughs> before before we end the show. Yes. Oh. Uh, just a <laughs> word from one of our one of our favorite people in the world. Yes. Butter AM Radio Butterbear. This is Butterbear from the 1980s Wuzzles franchise. Merchandise is an AM radio. Because what child doesn't want to hear AM radio? And let's, re it's let's true. try to remind Butterbear this yeah. is the grand finale of our Life Day show. Yeah. We want to end on a positive note. Yeah. So please. Not a weird note. Not a weird note, Butterbear. That's what Don't I'm say saying. Don't say anything weird this time. Butterbear, give us a little Krasinski. We want some good news. <laughs>
Butterbear, you've done it again. <laughs> oh, you. I guess the, the lesson we can learn. Yes, a lesson. Is that every now and then, and this can be something that we take with us into the new year, yes. you have to take chances. Yeah. Yes, that's right? a great way to what look at What a great way to, to George. spin that. Yes. Right? right. So we're all going to bow next year. I got to finish. I got to get my museum ready for 2025. I put it off a little bit. Just so little. next year is a very important year. Got to yes. get yeah. everything hung up. <laughs> got to hang all the paintings. Yeah. My resolution 2023, I just want to get even. <laughs> I just, if I can get even, yeah. wow. I'll feel ahead. You yeah. know? Yeah. I'm very Cause, close cause to settling some been, final debts, and then... <laughs> things have been getting <laughs> odd, so it's time to get even. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. 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 And Rachel... Now, George, someone in the chat, before you guys wrap up, David T. says, hashtag, cast Rachel in the Wuzzles movie. Oh! 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 Let's get it trending. Hashtag. Hashtag cast, cast, cast Rachel. Rachel. In the Wuzzles movie. Do you know what the Wuzzles right. are? Yes. Okay, so then you're halfway there. <laughs> you're already like more We're qualified. Like, that was, now we just need the ools. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's because, like a well, couple sentence breakdown of what the Wuzzles are. Just a few sentences. Yeah, for those who don't know, George. Give it, no, I want the pitch. I oh, want yeah. you to pitch it to me. In the 1980s when Michael Eisner yeah. took over Disney. <laughs> I remember he him. He said, I want to make new cartoons. Let's not just make old traditional Disney cartoons. And so he made two Saturday morning shows. There was the New Adventures of the Gummy Bears and the Wuzzles. Gummy Bears was more popular because the theme song was very catchy. Gummy Wuzzles Bears. Bouncing here and there and everywhere. everywhere. High adventure that's We're beyond compare. Bear. They are the Gummy Bear. Bears. Um, Wuzzles. I can't remember what the Wuzzles theme song is, but I love the Wuzzles. And so Wuzzle Bears. There it is. There yeah. They are. Yeah. No, I remember this you vividly, could... actually. Believe it or not. Rachel, you're you're the human. Like the Wuzzles come to Earth, and you have to help them get back to their world. You're okay. the Neil you're Patrick the, you're Harris the James to their I'm Smurfs. The... There's no reason. You're the James Marsters to their Sonic. There's. Okay. Let's not limit ourselves. You have a. Let, let me say this. You have a lot of range. Okay. There's no reason you can't play all the Wuzzles. You could play <laughs> every I'm gonna Wuzzle. The, I'm going to be the Andy Circus of Has Wuzzles only. Hashtag yeah. all the Wuzzles. All the Wuzzles. Yes. All the Wuzzles. And, and their Earthling friend. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that... I just got off a whole year of making CGI films. I can do, I can do another year of it. Let's make I all mean, the Wuzzles. I hate to be the one to say this, but why not make it practically? Yeah. <laughs> Clumps, you're gonna clumps it. It's, Rachel, a, lot, it's that, a lot more hours in the chair every day. It hurts I him. I a different costume for I'm each one. It hurts him so Hercules, much to say Hercules. that. I have no idea. He how much wouldn't it say it unless it was the right practical. I love CGI. I love digital. I can't believe we're here. He's saying, let's get you in some. Swear to God, if we're up to me, this would be a live stream. Right. You've asked me. That's true, right? That's true. That's true. Yes. I love digital. I love digital. I know. And he's saying make <laughs> Wuzzles practical. But why, though? Because you complained about CGI. I didn't complain about it. I, I just, just said did a whole bunch I of I just it. did a year of talking to sticks with, with, with little red oh. dots on it. So going, good. Oh, hey, Sleepy. How you doing? Like, come on. <laughs> Don't Spoiler, tell anyone. Sleepy's in the movie. Spoiler. We I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get in so much trouble. We have to I end. Just don't we have to end. end. We have to. Because have run, to. run. The spoilers I are coming. I cannot believe I Sleepy cannot. is in Shazam 2. <laughs> I'm losing my fucking mind over here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Grogu's and Gragas, thank you for coming out to thank celebrate you. Life thank Day. You. Uh, thank you to our guest Rachel Segler. Yeah. Thank you, Wado. Uh, Ramona Head, thank you for helping us out with the show. Everyone, a caveat. Thank you, Patrick. Come thank you, Patrick. Show. Come to our show in San Francisco in January. And, oh, and we have, we'll be playing a show in San Francisco at Sketchfest in January. And may the force be with you always. Woo!